the age of 18 until I found my way to Montana. I really didn't have a mountain home. Of all the places I've ever been, on skis with my camera, I settled in Montana. I think it revolves around that simple word called freedom, because it's our basic instinct. You know, you want to ride a horse, you want to catch a trout, and you just want to go somewhere to the summit of something and put your arm around your wife and watch the sunset. And the state is so big that, you know, you spin around in a 360 and there's freedom in every direction. I started making eight millimeter films with the money I got when I got mustered out of the Navy in 1946. I spent my professional life taking pictures of people, observing what people do and what they said, and uh, I either took movies of it or I drew cartoons of it. It's my take on the world. I drew this when I started my company in 49. When I first started driving this thing, you know, a lot of the pictures I took weren't very good. And so I, I tried to cover up the bad photography with funny jokes and stories and things, and the audience really liked the funny jokes. And everything you see around this part of Montana, it's all part of the Yellowstone cauldron. When I went into West Yellowstone, the guide told me that some students from Montana State had discovered a never before seen life form in the world. And there it is germinating right there for people to walk along a wooden path and look at it and say, wow, I'm looking at creation. It's happening right here. When you get to the bottom of a hill after a good run, you are a completely different person. You've been psychoanalyzed for one run. Some guys there, you know, Drilled a hole in your brain and inserted all this wonderful scenery and all these wonderful people and snow conditions and the freedom and forced out a whole bunch of bad stuff. And when you get to the bottom of the hill, you suddenly realize, you know, you can't take this memory away from me that I just experienced. And you get a lot of those in one day in Montana. If, if you plan on visiting here a week, Jump it up to two weeks. If you're going to spend a month in Montana, make it two, because there's always something over the horizon. Well, my wife gets upset at me because I always say, why wreck a good story with the absolute truth? <laughs>